Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'll explore the size guide feature for our Shopify store. So beforehand, I'd like to show you uh, two examples of how we can showcase our size guide in our store. So we have uh, our game theme demo stores. Let's preview them. So here is one of them. We have the lace demo store. And here, as you can see, we have our size options. We have our color swatches and we have size guide in here. So once I click here, we see the dimensions of our size guide. We have this table for all the sizes and for one size as well. And here in the parameters of the model in the photo, once I click this section, we see the picture of the model with all the parameters and uh, the information about this specific model in the picture. In the second demo store, we have size guide located in here. So once I click here, I have the same dimensions. This one just has two pictures instead of uh, one table and the same parameters of the model in the photo. So the same thing in here. So keep in mind that your size guide can be located either underneath your options or here on the right side of the screen. Also, we'd like to point out your attention to a few important things. Uh, so first of all, in order to even have this size guide option here, you need to have size options within your product. So if you have a product that doesn't have any size options, but you want to showcase their dimensions, then this size guide button will not appear. So even if your products are not clothed, but you still want to show their dimensions, their sizes, you need to still add the size. You can add at least like one, one option, one size, and in such case, the size guide section will appear. So just make sure that if you want to showcase the size guide, you need to have at least one option in the size section as well. And also another important thing that uh, since here we have the short, we have the size guide for shorts, but you can add different types of size guide pages. So for example, if you have um, pants and shorts in your store, you can add a separate page, size guide page for pants and for shorts. You can also add size guides for shoes and for accessories, etc. So just make sure to add different types of size guide pages with uh, different dimensions, different guides, and we'll take a closer look at how to create a size guide page later in the video. Okay, so once we've seen the examples of our size guide options, uh, let's go to our theme manual to see what we need to do next. So here in our theme manual, we have the information about the size guide, and here we see that we need to create custom meta fields for these size guide pages. So first of all, we go to our um, admin panel, we go to settings, and then we go to custom data in here. So once we're here, we click on products as these meta fields connect to our products. So we click on products and add definition. Okay, so here in the manual, we see that we need to have uh, the name for the meta field size guide page and namespace and key size guide dot page. So first of all, let's type in our name, which is going to be size guide page. And then let's change the namespace and key to size underscore guide dot page. This is very important. So once you're going to uh, make your own meta fields, refer to our theme manual for this help. And next thing is we need to select the type as page. Okay, so now we've listed this as page and we click on save our changes. So by creating this meta field size guide page, we created this, this section only here. Uh, if we want to add the model's info and the model's picture, we need to add two new meta fields. So here in our theme manual, let me just scroll a little bit here. We see another meta fields. So we have the create product meta field with name size guide model image and size guide model info. So now let's do this and then we'll start customizing our size guide page. So first of all, we click on add definition. We go to our theme menu and we see that we have the size guide model image name. Let's now add it in here. And in the namespace and key, we need to have custom.sizeGuideModelImage. 
and we just copy it here and save okay and the type should be um, content type must be files as we are going to add images and keep in mind that images only can be added so in the select type we choose file as indicated here and images only so as we can see we have the except specific file types we have images and videos let's remove videos and we'll have images only and then we save our meta field okay then we also need to add our third and last meta field so let's go back to our the menu so we have the name size guide model info we just copy it here we click on add definition and we add the name in here and also we need to add our namespace and key we copy the name from here and change it here okay so now we have our name and namespace and key and we also need um, the type of the content it must be multi-line text so back in here we choose select type and here multi-line text and now let's save our changes okay so now we have our three meta fields ready we have the size guide page we have size guide model image file and size guide model info multi-line text okay so once we close it here if we go to our products if we go to any of our products like let's choose this one if we scroll down to the meta fields as you can see we have new meta fields ready we have the size guide page we have the size guide model image and we have the size guide model info okay so now we need to add our size guide page so for this we go to online store pages and we click on add page so we can name our page size guide in here and in the content we have a few options of what we can do we can add the table so for example we insert the table you can add more layers you can modify it and if we add tables then here in our demo store we open size guide then this is how it's going to look like in the form of a table however we can also add pictures so here in the second demo store in the size guide in the dimensions as you can see these are pictures added so for example what we can do if we have our pictures uh, picture prepared before we can click on insert picture let me first of all delete this table here just a second so i click on insert image and i choose this image okay so here is my image and we can um, also add another image so if i click enter here i can add another image in here as well so this is our image and we can also edit it so once i've chosen my image i can click back here in edit image and here in the image size we can change the product image so we recommend to use 600 pixels click here and edit image here so we saved our changes and now let's save our size guide picture okay so we've created our page for the size guide so what do we what do we do next we can go to our products we can choose our product in here and we can also now add the meta field so first of all we're adding the size guide image so i'm clicking here select page we need the page size guide this is done next we need to add size guide model image so once we click here we click on select images and all our images in our library appear in here so if you um, have a specific image with uh, like the model's dimensions you can just remember by name how the image file is spelled and search it in here so for example i need this image but i have it right here however if i start typing the name here here will be my image so i'm choosing this image here and in the size guide model info this is a multi-line text so you need to type your information in here so if you have uh, your model info prepared you can just copy this text and enter it here so i'll go to our demo store to see this information and also we have this information here so i'm just copying this prepared text enter it here and then save our changes so now we have 
we have the um, model size info, we have the model image, and we have the size guide page. So now let's go to our preview to see this product. So as you can see, we have the size guide here, and by clicking on it, we see the picture of the size guide dimensions and we have these parameters we have the image and we have the models info so this is how you add the meta fields and uh, the size guide page now let's go to our theme customizer so we go to online store we click on customize our current theme and then we need to go to our default product so I'm going to default product and here let's um, sorry, not here let's change our product to the one where we've added our size guide so I'm here on this product as you can see we have size guide in here so once I go to the template and click on options I can customize this information from here so first of all uh, if you want the size guide to be placed underneath your options like in this demo store you see we have our options we have our color swatches and we have our size guide so if you want to do the same with your product here in the size guide option name you can remove it save the changes and once we preview our product, as you can see, the size guide has moved underneath the options. So this happens when the this field has nothing in it. So before we had size and our size guide was in here. Now that we've removed it, we have the size guide underneath in here. So if you want the size guide to be on the right side from your options, just make sure you have the same name as here, here. So if we add size, then the size guide will be back in here, as we can see. But once we remove the name from here, the size guide has moved to here. So also we have uh, in our size guide drawer, we have this information, we have the dimensions tab and we have parameters of the model in the photo. You can change these names if you want. So back in our customizer, you see we have size guide general tab label. It says dimensions. So you can rename it, for example, just let's be guide. And we have size guide model tab label. So we can rename it to, for example, model info. So once I've saved my changes, let me also refresh the page of this product and once i click on size guide you see we have the names changed we have a guide and we have model info so here in your theme customizer is where you can change all of this information okay and also we have our size guide drawer heading and we have our size guide button label so let me close it here so we can change the names here as well and we can also change the icon so if you have a specific icon for like size guides you can add it in here i don't have the specific image for size guide but to show you how this icon works let's add any any simple image let's save our changes and now as you can see we have this icon near the size guide so you can choose any image that you prefer uh, add it as an icon and see how it looks like and now let's also change this name so we have the size guide drawer heading um, let's just rename it to size guide test just to see the changes so we've saved our changes we've refreshed the page and once we click here we see the size guide test so this was our size guide drawer heading we remained it and we have the size guide button label so we can let's just add one just to, to rename it to see how it looks so here is how it looks size guide one and let's also check how it's going to look like in here so if you don't like the name of meaning of size guide you can of course rename it to whatever you prefer here from your um, theme customizer so let's just save our changes and this is how you add the size guide to your store how you add the size guide page the meta fields and how you can customize it from inside your 
Shopify theme customizer. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We are always here for you. And also don't forget about our theme manual as, as you can see here, you can find plenty of useful information as well. So thank you very much for your time once again. Have a great day. Goodbye.